It's a love story. Uh, I met a Frenchman in Australia, and um, the Frenchman happened to be the executive uh, producer on a film that I'd been making, and he took me out for dinner, and on our very first date, he asked me to marry him. So <laughs> I didn't take that very seriously, but when we started seeing each other in Europe, um, he invited me down to Cannes when he was working on the television festival, and um, I started, I'd been looking for a house by the sea everywhere, um, I started looking for the house by the sea while he was working. Um, we found this completely jungled olive grove and dilapidated house, and we fell in love with that. So it was a love affair with the man and a love affair with the property. It's one of those extraordinary changes of direction that has happened in life, you know, that happens to people in life that I could never have thought that I would go this way. I never thought that I'd go and work on the earth. I mean, I wanted to go to Hollywood. <laughs> Um, and I just, somewhere I took the wrong turning, or the right turning, as it turns out, you know. The, kind of, the liquid gold, as Homer describes it, that was a bonus that I just didn't expect. I mean, the gift of the earth, the gift of this particular tree, and the gift of the earth, is just a, it is liquid gold and the discovery of all of that has been an extra bonus that I could never have, if I were writing these books as fiction I would never have known to make that up as an added. No, it's, uh, the book's a fact. The only thing that I've done is I've taken dramatic license with the structure of the stories because I've structured them as though they were fiction because I wanted to appeal to a market. I mean, often if you say to people these books are non-fiction, then it gives a certain sense of maybe a denseness or heaviness, and I didn't want that. I want the books to be like stories, but in fact it is the, it is the truthful story. Just I've just slightly structured it differently, slightly changed the time frame of certain things. <laughs> tree that grows up alongside the outdoor staircase at the house, which is called a, magnif a, mag a magnolia grandiflora. And it's the only magnolia that doesn't come from China originally. It comes from the southern states of America. And it has flowers that are about this size, and they're like big wa white w ceramic or wax bowls. And it has the best perfume I have ever smelt in my life. Um, and when we first, after we'd found the house, when we were, I was having a moment of indecision, we drove all night down to the house to see if we really still loved it. And we arrived about three o'clock in the morning and we just were so tired and so broke, we just kind of lay down in, in, in the garden because there was no one living there. And I said, what is that perfume? And Michelle said, I don't know. And when the light came in the morning, there was this tree with these big flowers and this perfume and that's for me it's the perfume of love now nobody wants to reach an age whatever age we all get to and just kind of look out the window and think I never did it for me I mean, even as I said, it made, something inside me goes, oh, I think that's one of the saddest things, is just to look back at your life and say, I didn't do it. It doesn't matter what it is, if you want to do it, do it.